I didn't know why I prefer staying inside reading Cinderella and Snow White rather than playing outside when I was a kid. I didn't know why I love my parents knew why. When I turned 11, something strange started to happen to me. My breasts began to grow. <laughs> so I came back home and asked my mom, Mom, what's happening to me? I'm getting a breast. My friends call me a girl. Oh no. I guess it's about time to tell you the truth. You are such a blessed and lovely boy and a girl. <laughs> and we sat down for hours and she explained to me that I was born with both types of sexual organs and I had surgery to get rid of one of them when I was three. And that was when I realized what that painful surgery was. Moreover, sooner she explained that I was born with both men and women's sex, sex chromosome, which is XXY, and it's called Glenfell syndrome, which I didn't understand that time. So, my life turned into a hell. My once friends bullied me every day. My mom had to cure my wounds and bruises every night when I came back home, and we both cried hours and hours until I fell asleep. And soon, I realized that the only way to get out of this hell is to go to Seoul, where nobody knows of me. So I worked hard and hard to make it to the college in Seoul, and I did it. And I pretended that I was a normal man, I did my military service, and dated a lot of girls, but the relationships didn't last long. <laughs> Just like I said, I'm like a one in a million. So there was no organization, no doctors, no experts who understand people like me. So I was always alone and lonely, even when I hang, hung out with people. So there were so many nights, me thinking of hanging myself. And things were getting worse, worse, and worse. Until I found you guys, Postman. <laughs> you guys were so warm, open-minded. Of caring and understanding, you found it funny when I sweep my hair like this. <laughs> you always call me stylish when I wear this shirt. And I remember Evelyn when I asked you, Evelyn, I love your nail job so much. Where did you get them? And you took me to the nail shop. <laughs> so you all helped me look on the bright side, and I started to see things differently. I still sit on a chair like this <laughs> and do my number one in the toilet. And my toilet is so clean. And I do my hot yoga with almost naked, hot, young, pretty chicks. But it's very easy to focus on. <laughs> because I don't do anything when doing yoga with surrounded by those women. <laughs> So, that, you guys changed my life, and I began a new life, and you helped me realize that it's just okay to be me. It's just good to be myself. Mm. <laughs> so, I'm here to share you my hardest truths that I have ever exposed also outside of my life. I mean, family, and I just did it now. And I can't thank you enough for that. Now I've got two big favors to ask all of you. First, please remain as my friends after my speech. <laughs> and help me find or build my identity. And second, stay friendly and warm-hearted and open-minded to strangers, just like you were to me, because you might change their lives.